Hello, welcome to our program today. We are happy to have a very special guest, Dan, appearing on our show today to talk about his uh, new upcoming film. Thank you for joining me. What inspired you when brainstorming for your film? Well, at first, it was kind of a, kind of like a rough head start because I first I didn't know what I was doing until like almost to the last minute. It was about it's kind of like I feel like making a doc about some kind of documentary, so I had to make it like an, an instructional video, then turn into like. A documentary of like like somehow like of a personality to myself it I, I I got a little confused at first, but until I understand what was going on i was uh I was able to pull off some attempts at making of this film so i think I just got it done hmm. that's very inspiring now let's take a look at Dan's film I can remember back in two thousand sixteen. I was able to complete an assignment that required claymation and stop motion animation. But I think it's more than just an accomplishment. I believe it's more of my personality. And maybe why I love Transformers. Usually, Optimus Prime just turns into a truck and the trailer would appear. But with Power Master Optimus Prime, he transforms and his trailer just automatically pops up. Now he has to go uh, roll out. I just need to present him later. When it comes to Power Master Optimus Prime, he's more than just Optimus Prime. To transform him, he simply is in his truck form. Then you get to see when I open his doors or his well, actually, just his door. Doors, I mean. You would see he has a little companion that he turns into his head. Haikyuu. Then you can see how I transform him. Basically, I go to the sides where his legs would be and open up his arms. But before I turn him into a robot, I could show you that he could not just turn to a truck or a robot, but he can also turn into a battle station. Oh, there's the little guy again. He fits. I really was awed and inspired after transforming him into a battle station. Then I would have Autobots surround the battle station as if they're defending their their home or their their base. After the battle station's over, I get to show you what he'll look like in his robot form. After folding his arms out, putting his legs out, this is where Haikyuu comes in. He turns into Optimus Prime's head, and you just snap it onto him and put his helmet down. Power Master Optimus Prime just stands tall. Like he's not just an ordinary hero, he's like a hero at heart. I really enjoyed that a lot. Especially when I pass the time, I can use them to play along with my other Transformers. Since most have Autobots, I would pretend one of them would be a Decepticon, and I would have Optimus Prime to, um, I don't know, kick some butt. And that's a knockout, folks. He won the wrestling match. What inspired me to be who I am right now at this point is with um, Optimus Prime being Optimus Prime. I mean, I've seen him in shows. I watched him since, like, I was around 10 or 11 years old. I saw him on Cartoon Network sometimes. Then I'm starting to see... How heroic he can be and I thought to myself I could be like him it's good to have Optimus Prime and the Transformers with me at home or at school I use them to calm me down at times it's really great that 
I have Transformers in my life. And I really do hope someday that I too can be like Power Master Optimus Prime. Just one day, I could be like him. That was very cool. What was your favorite part about filming? Mm, aside to the fact that um, that I enjoy taking shots of uh, taking shots of the toys that I have. What I I feel like I, I just enjoyed like taking pictures and trying to make it into a stop motion animation like. I saw some movies that have included stop motion, mm. in, including some Christmas specials, including mm. the first one. The having, Rankin and Bass of films. Yeah, yeah, like that, and the uh, King Kong, 1933. Oh, oh, yeah. But, I mean, doing this myself, I've enjoyed it because, I mean, the first toy I had was the one I had earlier, uh, Blue Optimus Prime, which my stepdad gave me. Mm. But, I mean, after having own, owning that toy for, like, practically almost over 10 years or 15 years. I don't know how long ago it is, but it, it's good to have, have more, more around with me because I, I enjoy play with them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I even enjoy to do some reenactments of them, especially with um, focusing on Optimus Prime mm -hmm. as shown in the film. I've basically enjoyed myself. I, I want to express my feelings. Mm -hmm. I want to express mm -hmm. everything that I like about myself. And I would really love to show it to everyone else who I am, mm -hmm. how I am, like, like, like my toys, because the characters themselves are mm -hmm. like the heroes. I want it to mm -hmm. be like them. I just want mm -hmm. to show everyone out to the world that I'm like them and I'm very helpful. And I think the stop motion portion must have been very time consuming. Very. Like... I was able to pull it off like in one day, especially focusing only on one toy. Like I could only I can only do like one at a time maybe, but if I can if I can master it, mm -hmm. I can be able to make two in one shot. Mm -hmm. That's very amazing, Dan. Thank you so much for being here today. We all really enjoyed seeing your video. And thank you for having me.